In our previous video, we went on a tour inside the various components of manure load, mainly the design, the runtime, and the results. Today, let's deep dive into the population tab under design component. This is me, Vasant Shanmugam, welcoming you all to Little Sla YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover these four concepts. First one is, what is a population? Why we need a population? How to create a population and the options we have in populations? And how do we configure a basic population setup? So we see all these things in the part one of populations video. First, let's start with what is a population? A population is a group of visual user types or we can say a collection of different scripts that we are going to use for testing for load test or stress test or any kind of performance testing. The second thing that is why we need population. So we have several different populations that we configure to test the application to test using different business and network behaviors. So that is the reason we need a population. So to configure various populations or to bring in various different types of scripts and test them under different business and network behaviors. So before we see into how to create a population, let's see what are the options and what are all the things we have in the populations tab. Here we have the populations window and here we have the plus and minus symbol. So the plus will help us to add a new population. Let's click on this plus symbol and add a new population. Let's give the name as new population. And let's click on OK. So we have a new population added. And then we have this minus symbol that removes the selected population. Let's remove it by clicking on the minus symbol and it is removed and then we have various other options like duplicate so clicking on duplicate will create uh, the same set of or the duplication of this population let's click on duplicate and we have this name automatically added as underscore one with the same settings everything is same only the name is different and if we add one more, we get as automatically it is populated as population one underscore two. So that's how all these are getting duplicated. Let's now delete all these and start a fresh population. Let's remove everything and we are done. So we can now start a new population, a fresh one. And before that, let's see Let's click on this one and we create a population. And we have this definition window or definition box where we give the name of the population and we can give the description. And then we have the content where we can bring in all the scripts that we have or that we require for testing. Let me add 
the plus symbol here so this is different so this is adding the script which we have in the user path so we have three scripts basically one is user path second one is if then else and third one is for correlation let's bring all of them inside so by default the percentage will be allocated to 100 percent and when we are adding multiple scripts we have to split them based on the requirement so let me add the second script and we can change the script here i'm selecting the second script now i'm adding the third script so now we can distribute the percentage equally or we can distribute based on the requirement so first i'm starting it with 50 and here it shows red because we are not having as a total of 100 percent only when the total is 100 percent it will change to green or it will change as eligible so i'm adding another 25 percent and still it shows red still since we have not reached 100 percent now let's distribute all these three scripts into 100 percent and we have finally reached the 100 percent as a total percentage here so that's how we create the scripts so we have created a population with three different scripts and in the configuration so the last one that is the configuration of the the population setup so let's now start with the browser profile and clicking on this three dots will take us the browser profile speaker and here we have two options one is recorded one so this the recorded one is one which are we, we used the same browser that we use for recording and the customized will take us to various versions of the browsers we have chrome we have firefox we have opera and we have chrome that we have in mac or ios and then we have windows chrome and we have ie internet explorer of various versions and in case if there are requirements where we have to test the application in the lower version of the uh, browser then we can use these options and again we have this mobile browser as well we can choose any of these mobile browsers we have android we have blackberry we have symbian we have windows phones iphone till iphone 11 and then we have tablet versions as well we have android versions and we have ios that is ipad from ipad till ipad mini so we have all these versions to have to select and then we have these parameters that is http2 and handle cookies so checking this box enables the http protocol on the selected browser profile so this mainly focuses on the http slash 2 protocol uh, which is our performance and they actually uh, gives us end user perceived latency network and server resource usage and one of the major goal is to allow the usage of a single connection from browser to website so that's the main reason we use this http slash 2 option and then we have this handle cookies where by selecting this check checkbox it gives us the ability for the visual user to handle the cookies and deactivating cookies helps check that the application can be used with a browser whose cookies management is deactivated and force the server to use the url rewriting facility to keep the session alive or the users by himself has to handle all these cookies by writing scripts or by handling them manually using the parameters so that's why we use this handle cookies so basically by selecting this handle cookie we will automatically handle every other cookies inside the script and let's now move to this van emulation so here we have uh, the, the the main or the default one that we have is the unlimited one and we can customize it to broadband of various download and upload speeds where they are like a kind of a template thing and whenever we select a 56k modem automatically these 
download latency and then upload and latency will be adjusted and same for lan where we have ethernet fast ethernet gigabit ethernet and we have mobile where we can use them to configure a mobile a kind of emulation and then we have again this wireless so these are the various options we have for this van emulations and then finally we have this handle cache where we have three options as as recorded new user and returning user so let's first see what this as recorded says so when we select this as recorded it's tell it tells us that the visual users that we are using for the test caches the behavior which is same as in the scenario recording so whatever uh, values that are cached during the scenario recording will be used during the load test and then we have the new user so this basically tells us that the virtual users that are used in the test are started with an empty cache during the test and they simulate uh, like the user is uh, is a new user to the application and has not visited or have never visited the application so that's how this new user works so there will be no cache and the user will emulate like a new user to the application and then we have this returning user so this returning user will act like the virtual user cache is up to date and the application does not return any response which contain information that is already cached so that is how this returning user works so these are the, the basic three things that we have in handling the cache so that's all folks that's all for this population and in our next video we will see about the monitors please don't forget to subscribe like my channel and comment your valuable feedbacks